Today I find myself playing one of the coolest decks I've come across. It's Squirrel Dredge, taking advantage of cards like Acorn Harvest to populate the board to a wide degree, then cast Dread Return from the graveyard, bringing back huge threats like Lotled Giant. Enjoy. We're trying to put some squirrels into our graveyards, but a mulligan isn't a great start to that. It's fine though. I have ways to cast a bunch of my lower cost stuff. Get some duels, get some red pieces. That's what the troll of the Kaza Doom is for. Uh, of Kaza Doom, I should say. But get the geothermal bog, fill my uh, graveyard a bit. I think my opponent's playing some type of combo, and that's what I initially think anyway. But Meyer Triton gets me to mill some as well. That's my graveyard on the left side, by the way, not theirs. Lightning Bolt makes me think no combo. Yeah, they're playing that red kind of aggro list. So they get the Crimson Fleet Commodore out for a little bit of card draw. They have no cards in hand drawing thanks to the uh, kind of monarchy there. I have to steal that back, or they can definitely run away with some advantage. So this is the deck playing like name sticker goblin and just like charging out a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to opt to not take that damage, block that five two. I think I can make up for that advantage and uh, play out the Blanchwood into a two two. They're playing some stuff. They're playing some name sticker for some mana. They're playing out a Simeon Spirit Guide. If this is what they're doing with their mana for now, it's okay. It's fine. Now, uh, dredge out the Stinkweed, play the scrap work, uh, and, and continue to dredge out. I'm, I'm essentially just looking for reanimation spells, right? I'm looking to put creatures onto the board and, and just get big ones out. Troll Akaza Doom is going to be a very hard one for this deck to beat. I honestly should have just gone to combat before doing any of that, though. Uh, they might not have blocked in that case, but at this point, Mega Menace, this troll is getting through for some damage. And with only one card and me grabbing the monarchy from them, it's going to be just great here. Acorn Harvest and Seder Wayfinder is just going to confirm the fact that I'm going to block forever. And the draw turning into Dredge for Stinkweed is absolutely amazing. Now, Trailblazer lets them go through the cave. There's a lot of value in this deck. I haven't actually come across this list all too much, but I'm going to block out. I'm not going to give them back the Monarchy. I don't want them gaining extra cards. Uh, it's fine. Making suboptimal blocks is okay. Continue to Dredge the Stinkweed. And what I'm really looking for is a lot Legend, which I found thanks to the Dread Return. And I'm going to be able to kind of get that back this turn so get out my mana acorn harvest dread return for the lot let more than enough creatures let's go to game number two big preface here my opponent has like an insane turn two here i pulled down to five which doesn't really help either but i got the blanche one i got things to play troll can get me my dual lands to get me my red source and as well now check this out so they go name sticker right and they get themselves six darn mana experimental synthesizer gets them a right of flame they then write a flame into two right of flames one from their hand they then sacrifice the experimental synthesizer into another synthesizer they play the synthesizer into a trailblazer's torch torch gets them into their dungeon and at this point I, I, like my mind is reeling from this turn two this deck is so sweet and it makes me want to concede just drop this league and play that anyway play out the blanchwood uh, i'm gonna opt to not take out the land because i need blockers they're, <laughs> they're going crazy they're going through the dungeon right now they still got three cards in hand they play a uh they play a haster they got a four four and uh I gotta start killing some threats. I gotta wane some of the damage here. Uh, I can also hopefully try and find a little bit of life gain out of my graveyard and that can help. And then if I can like stabilize a little bit, this dread return on the troll can be pretty big. Regardless, I'm not blocking any of that. I, I just, I can't lose my creatures, right? I need it for a key block here and there. And I found the nod to the bone, which is great. There are six creatures in there. That's 12 life. So if they decide to go for something tricky, then that's gonna work for me. Now they have an eight five which uh, is going to put a big block in my plans. My opponent misplays here a little bit. The experimental synthesizer into a bolt. They honestly should have just gone to combat first, forced me to cast this knot of the bone or some type of life gain, then uh, bolted me in response to anything I could have done. So that, that was definitely the play. Regardless, though, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to concede. I, I'm not really going to draw into anything crazy here. Uh, even the knot of the bone on the backswing is not going to work. It's only going to gain me 12 life. The Crimson Fleet just ends it there. Let's go to game three, see if we can't round this out. Game three goes a lot better, not going to lie. We do end up mulliganing. This deck does mulligan a lot, but Generosine is going to be able to get me into my second land source as well. They don't have a land of a hand. They actually are going off a Lotus Spell into a right, into Synthesizer, into Cold Dota. The Synthesizer, I guess they were hoping could find them a land and i'm just gonna get myself an untapped green source the goblin token and this is essentially where it goes downhill for them now i could have played the geothermal bog could have just played that tap but it's fine i could play that as tap land next turn play blanchwood as well they don't find a land and this is where the downfall for them really starts i'm able to get off really early just get a lot of threats going i can start attacking with that because if, if they want to block that's creatures they don't have for a future bushwhacker and then at this point i'm dredging back 
playing the Blanchwood. I'm actually going to opt to grab a land because I, I want to hard cast this Dread Return because that's the easiest way to get into my yard as of right now. Once I can do that, I can get like a generous end if they get aggressive for some life. But at this point, it's really going to be the Troll of Cause of Doom. They're at 14. I'm going to swing in. They go down to 10. And at this point, I see blood in the water. I'm going to sacrifice all of that, bring back the second troll, and that's lethal on the swing back. Squirrel Dredge is absolutely insane. As fast as Squirrel Dredge can rise up, the quicker it can fall. I, I think I run up against one of probably the toughest matchups this deck can face, honestly. And my opponent starts off with a turn one dress into Swamp, which makes me think Mono Black, but they play Acre Wellspring, so I'm like, okay, this is probably Gardens uh, at this point, which I know they have a lot of removal, and I really just have to hope to dodge the... Uh, kind of early game graveyard hate. I put the Dread Return in the yard. They deadly dispute. They're drawing a lot of cards. Blood Fountain, Treasure Token, everything and anything. I still don't see another source, but I'm still pretty sure it is Fountains. Uh, I, I didn't attack there, which was kind of a mistake. Uh, they could have been a two less life there, which is perfectly fine. They're then going to cast down and then uh, go for some even more removal. I, It's not looking great. In a deck that needs to cast a Dread Return, Getting your stuff removed is not that great, right? Now, for five mana, they're going to cast the Avenging Hunter, which is where things get kind of scary. Now, uh, I, I do manage to get out a Scrapwork Mutt and then go into the Lotla Giant into the yard, swing over top, they go to block, and then ultimately they have Defile. And I was wondering, I'm like, why would they just pass with that? And they had the removal. I bring out the Squirrel. I search. I tutor. Scrapwork goes away. And I'm hoping they don't find some type of board wipe here, which would be... Okay, well, there you go. That's essentially what I'm alluding to, folks. There is the board wipe. At this point, this game is pretty much over. I can keep dredging, but all I can hope for is just like a million like acorn harvest. That's really all I can hope for. Uh, they're going to take out those Crip Rats at that moment uh, to prevent me from getting back anything further. I'm going to keep getting my swamps out because I'm like, okay, if I can't dredge anything out, if I can't return anything out with a dread return, then I need to start hard casting like lot led giants. I need to start uh, really dredging on my yard and making sure that lot led giant is lethal. Fortunately enough, I have a little bit of life gain to kind of stimmy things out, especially with the fact that I just got trapped through the undercity. Tithing blade is going to make me lose another creature. There's so much removal, infinite, infinite removal. It feels like anyway, go to my second main. I grab the undercity, grab on another land, thin out my deck just a little bit more, tap out completely for a lot led giant, bring them down to 10 and at least put some pressure on the board. That's the best I can do. Blood Fountain returns the Crip Rats. I get defiled. How much removal does this deck have? It is a nightmare. Oh, I speaking of nightmare. I'm going to play another lot led giant and uh, well, go to Go to the next phase here and then uh, cycle first to get a uh, card in the yard, then Lot Led Giant. Uh, get the value, right? Get the extra creatures in there. At this point, the Reckoner's Bargain gain a little bit of life, which is unfortunate because I was like thinking, okay, well, they can't win if they activate Crip Rats, but now they're above on life. They can activate Crip Rats. Let's go to game two. Just because this is a tough matchup does not mean I can't bring it back. Let's play it slow. Let's play it steady. Opponent plays Relic off the rip, which is fine. It's okay if I can naturally draw some of my big threats. Maybe I can make it work. Anyway, both of my creatures are gone, which isn't great. But the Mire Trident does give me some life. It's a death-touching uh, effect. It's going to draw a removal spell. They don't have another land, which is a pretty big stumble. I'm going to play out the Stinkweed Imp because if they're going to remove that, then I'm going to be able to dredge. Now, they're desperately looking for a land. And it feels like this is probably the only way I can beat this matchup, honestly. If they just stumble on lands and I just have this insanely wide board. I have like eight damage coming at them next turn. They're forcing me to exile some stuff. Uh, I have some Knot of the Bones, which is fine, I guess, some minimal value. I'm going to Dread Return, get the value out right now. Scrapwork uh, gets me to draw through my deck just a little bit, uh, just kind of work things through. The Relic of Progenitus is back here. Do they have the removal or the way to stimmy things out? Stop the bleeding. Ultimately, no. We're just going to be going to game three. Here. Going to game three, Mui Maul once. Oh, I hate mulling with this deck so much. Colony Garden brings out the plant token. We're going to start things off with the Geothermal Bog. It's not ideal, but the Troll of Kaza Doom lets me get a land as well. They put the Squirrel Harvest into our yard, which is actually fantastic. I think they should have put the Knot of the Bone in there, honestly. The Squirrel Harvest does make me lose life, though, so I will say that. But uh, also, there probably was like a, not a lot better way to like sequence this whole hand. I should have just used the Geothermal Vent, played the Haunting Mire, and done things that way. But it's uh, it's fine. 
I get a little bit of dredge, a little bit of missequencing won't be the death of me here. It'll be everything else. Icar Wellspring draws them into a land, which is unfortunate. You'll notice they didn't make that land drop there. Seder Wayfinder finds me another land as well, which is nice. Untap land, play that out, play the scrap work mutt. And then at this point, I'm going to continue to just dredge out. I, I like if they're not going to present me with the relic of progenitus, then I have to present them with some type of lethal threat. Five cards in hand, two of my creatures are gone. Oh, just the amount of card draw. This deck has so much value. So, so, so much value. Tithing Blade. All my creatures are done. I need to find Acorn Harvest, which I cannot seem to find. Anyway, keep dredging through. Keep putting out some uh, creatures from there. Going for some combat. And I actually managed to find a Dread Return, which I'm going to use. I'm going to Dread Return for Chola Kaza Doom. Force them to have some type of answer to that. And that's ultimately the way I have to play. They could have a board wipe. They could continue to have other threats. Maybe that was a misplay. Maybe I should have gone wide. Um, and honestly, I'll let you know, let you figure that out in the comment section down below. But I have plenty of creatures in hand, so I can just keep going that way. If they want a board wipe, if they want to remove stuff from here, then that shouldn't be fine. Uh, but put them back. Relic of Progenis comes down. Our opponent timed this really well, right? Like this is, that was essentially the defeat. They wipe my board. My graveyard is gone. At this point, I'm playing out like stinkweeds and scrap work mutts again. I am able to dredge a bit though, which is kind of nice. Dread return and lot led giant is in there. Cryprack comes out though, which is really unfortunate. Map token, two, two, blah, blah, blah. Lots and lots coming out. Board gets wiped. Put it back in any order. At this point, draw stinkweed imp brings me back there. Unearth the scrap work mutt. Put the acorn harvest into the yard. Recast the acorn harvest. I have the dread return coming out. Take them down by two i have three creatures in yard which i'm then going to take advantage of to dread return the lot led giant putting some pressure on them because this is getting ridiculous they have a lot they deadly dispute again and they continue to find they've drawn five cards this turn lembas the relic of progenitus comes down they can't activate the lembas but they relic to destroy my graveyard which is fine i'm then going to swing at them for six i can bring them down by three which is pretty nice but then the defile comes out and i'm like oh great i guess i'll concede <laughs> 